We are back on another episode of the Curtis Zone. I hope that you have missed our. I hope that you missed us, but we're back. Today is another episode of a versus battle. We've asked ourselves who win a fight between Max Steel and Saint Seiya. Now, normally we do. Normally we're doing the comic books, best martial artist versus. Marvel vs. DC's best martial artists in these versus battles, but I thought we'd take a break from that just for a second to give you this matchup. Now, we cannot give you any episode until we give you some news. And here, we've heard here on the Curtis Zone that the Flash movie was a box office disaster, which is why hashtag Restore the Snyderverse is still our official sponsor. Don't worry, it's gonna come back soon. Just keep posting about it. From the world of Marvel, we have heard that the official cast for the Fantastic Four movie has been set. It includes Adam Driver, who you may remember from the Star Wars Rise, the Force Awakens movie, Margot Robbie, who played Harley Quinn, who is gonna be playing Sue Storm, and two other actors whose names escape me, but it looks like a rapper is gonna be playing The Thing. So, everybody just get ready for that, okay? Now, for those of you who are fans of 90s action movies, we have recently heard that a remake of the movie Face Off, which originally starred Nicolas Cage and John Travolta, is getting a remake. So, be on the lookout for that. The final piece of news from the world of Mortal Kombat. The official cast list for Mortal Kombat 2 has been set. And I gotta say, the guy that plays Shao Kahn, he is freaking jacked, okay? He was in... Boyka Undisputed with Scott Atkins, and that guy is freaking jacked, okay? They have a cast list for Katana, Jade, Johnny Cage, and the, not, not only that, the original cast list will be coming back. It's looking like it's gonna be pretty amazing. Let's get into this versus battle, all right? Now, for those of you who do not know how these versus battles work, I, your humble and handsome host, Dylan J. Curtis, tell you, give you the stats of both combatants. I tell you who I think will win in the fight, and then you, the viewer, leave in the comment section down below who you think will win in the fight. Without further ado, let's get into it, all right? And remember, hit the like and subscribe button. Let's talk about Saint Seiya first. Ever since his sister was kidnapped, Saint Seiya has trained under the eye of a woman on an island whose name I'm not going to spoil. Seriously, watch the show or the movie. However, he would earn the Pegasus armor, which included a wide range of attacks, one of, when, one of which being his Pegasus meteor attack. He is trained in expert styles of martial arts, and he's also trained to, and listen to this part very, very vividly, kill gods. Because the, the Knights of the Zodiac are trained to kill Athena should she turn against humanity. So yes, Saint Seiya is a very powerful enemy. Now that that is done, let's talk about Max Steel. And remember, hit the like and subscribe button. Max Steel has an energy inside of his body called Turbo Energy. The Turbo Energy is unstable and he needs steel in order to keep it from exploding. This gives him a wider range of different modes that he uses to fight against evil. Each mode is different than the last and each mode is more powerful than the last. You have turbo strength mode, turbo speed mode, cannon mode, spike mode, flight, sonic, the whole nine yards. Max Steel is also trained in MMA, but what sets him apart from, every, from Saint Seiya is the fact that he's technology where Saint Seiya is pure magic. So yeah, this will be an interesting fight. In this fight, I got a score to Saint Seiya. This is due to the fact that Saint Seiya was literally trained and is powerful enough to kill a god. Saint Seiya is, pow is so powerful that he once wielded the gold Sagittarius armor. And if you factor in the fact that he has his Pegasus meteor attack and his meteor punch, it is considered to be an honor to be destroyed by him. And did I mention the fact that he wielded the gold Sagittarius armor? So yeah, that's yeah. Thank you so much for joining me here on the Curtis Zone. 
Remember, hit the like and subscribe button for more content if you want to see more of me and, of course, of my bouncing packs. Now, as always, hashtag Restore the Slanderverse is still our official sponsor. So, like, subscribe, comment, meme about it. We want the Slanderverse back thanks to the fact that the Flash movie was a huge box office disaster. But it's looking like the Blue Beetle film is looking pretty good, guys. Remember, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.